Hi, um, I didn't tell you this the other day when I called you, but when you called me back, um, I intentionally didn't tell you because I wanted to tell Cheryl first. Despite what Marion and, in you know, and she has all, them all wrapped around her little finger, as I told you, um, social worker, psychologist, um, even her primary care physician was the only one who came through for me in 2010. Despite their best intentions, including Mar my mom's social worker, never even contacted Cheryl, who repeatedly called her. Well, I guess who repeatedly emailed her, maybe only called her once or twice, but she was ignoring her because she knows that she would have told me. Yeah, um, they're trying to keep me from, from my mom, Donna. Um, but my mom had one friend who Marion didn't have wrapped around her little finger. And it just so happened my mom had called from the hospital and called that friend. And make a long story short, I called and talked to my mom for a long time. I also visited her. And you know Marion's going to find out and be livid. Um, and she's going to do everything in her power, you know, to for my own mother's own good to, you know, to never let me visit my mom again. My mom's in La La Land. She's probably going to be committed. That's why I was inquiring about Angel. Um, circumstances were different. I could take Angel, you know. As I've told you repeatedly, my mom has all that money, and you think she wouldn't want, you know, part of it to be given to me to, to care for her beloved dog, but life doesn't work that way. Um... You know, that's the way it goes. Hard enough for me to find a roommate. You know, I'm paying $600 a month here, and I'm lucky he doesn't care that Omar goes to the bathroom on the floor. I mean, that's a big deal. That'd be really hard to find. It's hard enough to find a place who, where you, a new room place for one dog, let alone two, Donna. So, my mom's in luck. 